Hello everyone, how are you doing and how are we coping with the moment? I know it's been a trying season globally, you know, in the whole world. We are all taken, I mean, in different ways of life, thinking of how to navigate our lives around the uh, pandemic of COVID-19. Now, I just want to give you some tips on how to take precaution and things you can do and on I mean to navigate your life around the whole thing. Remember as a people, no matter how we try to keep distances, we still need one another. We see each other. Even when you don't talk to someone, you still see the person. So a quick one, this is a quick video. I was actually driving back from a shop. So I decided to stop to do this video before I arrive where I'm going because when I get there, it's a lot of procedure I'm going through myself to be able to, I mean, so to get on track and it's a conscious effort, you know, like now I'm just from a shop. When I was going to the shop, I made sure I had my sanitizers and I had my face mask. I saw people wearing gloves. And I just want to, you know, you wear latex glove to shop. It's as good as carrying your hands to the shop. So you use this latex glove. I mean, you are picking things off the shelf. Remember those things that you are picking, other people have touched it as well. And you don't know if whoever touched it, they are on the, in the first line or second line or third line of people who have had contacts with infected people who are not even aware that they are infected. So... What I'm saying here is wearing latex glove to the shop, I don't think it is. Because remember, you want to pay at the till or at the market. You are putting your hands with the gloves into your handbag. If there was virus on it, you would have deposited it into your bag. You would have deposited it in your purse. You would have deposited it all around your clothes with the mentality that you're wearing a glove. That makes things worse. Why don't you just do this? Go to the shop, pick what you want to pick. Make sure you don't touch your body, don't touch your, your face. And then, after which you use your sanitizer, your 75% alcohol and above sanitizer, sanitize your hands, sanitize your bank cards, sanitize your cash, sanitize your bag, and then you get going. In that way, you know, you have taken conscious steps in sanitizing and preventing this virus from going with you to your home. That is number one. Number two, when you swipe your card, you take it back from that machine. Make sure you sanitize it. Make sure you sanitize your hands. Make sure you sanitize your purse where you keep that card. Another tip is this. If you wear mask to the shop, and you take it out, make sure your hand is not touching your face. And now that I've pulled this out, it's not going back on to cover my nose and my mouth. After now, it's not. So, and as you get to your destination with the stuff that you have bought, please do not take them into your house with the packs and everything. Make sure you sanitize them one by one. Wipe it with sanitizer on your on the on a cloth on a wiping cloth sanitize the packs those that you can remove the packs remove the packs change them into your own containers but before you do that you make sure that as you arrive home get under the shower shower with soap soap yourself make sure it makes lather soap yourself if there's virus on you or on any part of your body in that way the soap water would have killed it. Don't allow your children to come and hug you or don't allow any of your loved one or relative to come on and hug you. Tell them to wait. Get onto the bathroom. Take off your clothes. And those clothes you are removing, remember, vi the coronavirus can survive on it for nine hours or 12 hours. So as you take them off, be sure that you take care of it. Don't add it to your to other clothes. Put it where it can be washed or take it to the sun. Don't leave it exposed as you arrive home. 
sun it if there is sun. If there's no sun, put it into the washing machine. Going through the cycle of wash with the soap, with the detergent, automatically will kill the virus. If you don't have washing machine, put it inside the shower where you're bathing. Put a bucket there. We put detergent and wash your clothes immediately. If you cannot do that, take it straight outside of the sun and sun it. Then you come back and sanitize or wash your hand with soap again. Do not say that you have just had a bath so you are okay. Remember, you have just handled the clothes that you took off when you went out earlier. So another thing I want to give, another, another tip is this. Sanitize your house keys, your car keys. Sanitize your door handles. Sanitize your remote controls. Sanitize your tabletops or countertops all around the house. As many rooms as you may have. Make sure you do that every day. You can take turns. Arrange with another person in your home and take turns. If you do it today, the other person does it the next day. Do it morning and evening. Morning and evening. Wash your hands always. If you don't have sanitizer, make sure you have soap that can foam, that can make lather. And always wash your hands. And keep three meters, three meters between you and the next person that you are having a conversation with. Even when you live in the same house. When you wake up in the morning, sanitize the sitting room, the couches, the light switches, the light switches all around your house. Sanitize them. If you have a garage where you park your car, go there, sanitize the handle of the door. If you do not have a garage, so be it. But make sure that all the door points, you sanitize the handle of the door. And the foods that you bring from the market, please put salt in water. Wash everything in salt water before you pack them away. Do not put any food, even though you just unwrap them. Still wash them with soapy water and then package it in your own uh, packaging, either uh, freezer bags or in your containers and then put them into your fridge. Another thing I want to say is sanitize your cutlery. Sanitize your cutlery. It is very important because if you have someone who is a carrier in the house and the person is a healthy person and you do not know, this virus would have spread all around the house, deposited on the carpet and then you do not know. So before your children or people wake up in your house, you can take your spray sanitizer and sanitize the carpet. Just spray it around. Sanitize your house. This is the only way to stay safe. And do not stay or hang around people with flu because you never can know what symptoms. It is. Yes, there's a common flu symptom. They are quite different from coronavirus infection uh, symptoms. But you still have to be careful. And if you take alcohol, please do away with that now. If you do smoke, you are not helping your lungs either. You are just killing your immune system. Your immune system is supposed to be strong enough to be able to fight uh, coronavirus if paraventure one contacts it. And when you are outside your home, if you can avoid eating, please don't eat. And then you see the way I've packed my weave at the back. Make sure as a woman you pack your weave. No more long nails for now. And when you are wearing a watch, you wear bracelet, make sure you are able to sanitize everything along with your hands. Another tip is this. Do not and never spray hand sanitizer in your car while driving because it is highly flammable. You can ignite yourself and the car and whoever is in the car with you by so doing. When, before you step into your car, while you are still outside your car, you can sanitize yourself. Sanitize your door handles. Because you never can know. We all saw on the video in China how somebody went and spat on handles, on railings, and on, uh, on the lift buttons. And everybody that used it on that day, they got infected. You don't know. While you stepped out of your car, if someone who is infected had gone ahead to put that, their spit or their saliva on your door handle, knowing fully well that you're coming back to handle that car, open the door and to get into your car. The Bible says that people are wicked, men are wicked, and their hearts are deep. Who can 
know it. They are desperately wicked. Who can know the heart of man? So be careful. Be conscious. It is you and you alone. And you can only take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, then you take care of your loved ones. I am sending this message to you to help the world today. Because the world is fighting this unseen enemy. We can do it in prayer. And we can do achieve this. We can only achieve victory. Joining hands together to pass information, support one another in love, share what you know so that others can listen to it and also be careful. Since I went out all morning, I was careful not to touch my face. My hands has not gone onto my hair because that's why I tied my hair at the back. My makeup is very simple and light because I don't have to sweat. Then the clothes I'm wearing, they are very free. Smartly dressed. Don't be clumsy. When I went into the shop, I did not go down with my handbag. I did not take my phone with me. I only got back to the car and after I, I finished sanitizing myself, then I could handle my phone. So always sanitize your phone as many times as possible. It's not going to kill your phone. It's not going to destroy it. Now tips on things that you can eat. If you have an underlying health issue, especially, I'm going to leave one tip here. If you have high cholesterol, Please make sure you have coriander in your pantry. Take coriander powder, one teaspoon. Boil it in two cups of water on the stove as if you want to drink tea. Add garlic and add sliced ginger. Bring it to boil. When it boils, strain it into your cup and drink it. Do not add any other thing. This is a home remedy that can help you to reverse high cholesterol remember people with underlying sicknesses or people who are on medications who who have got uh, health issues coronavirus easily you know impacts them so this is my advice to you and if you have if you feel fluish that solution is also good use your uh, hot water you know you can also make tea by adding um, garlic, ginger, add your turmeric, bring it to boil, bring it to boil, bring it to boil, bring it to boil, and then somebody is asking me to leave where I'm parked because I'm parked along the way, but there's a lawn there, so I have to move immediately. So what I'm saying to you, I hope you guys understand, make use of your lemon or your lime, make tea with ginger, garlic and turmeric if you have time you can add time to it time that you used to cook meat yes i'm right because it's an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant so add it to it or you blend them together and then put it in your hot water that you can drink as tea this will help fortify your immune system your vitamin c especially and please cut down on calories don't eat sugar sugar is an enemy of your immunity your immune system does not need sugar to be active. And then you will see that as you take all these precautionary measures, God will help us. God will help you. And also in prayer, don't forget. Pray, pray, pray. And hydrate yourself. You need to be hydrated. You need to be hydrated. And always drink hot water. Drink hot water at all times. Take a bath with hot water. And stay safe. I heard people saying that they are bathing with uh, with uh, disinfectant, with uh, sanitizer. Please, you don't need to add sanitizer to your bathing water. The soap you use to bath that makes lather is enough to help you wash out any form of virus that might have followed you from wherever you went to the house. And if you're wearing long nails, this is the time to stop it. Please, you have to be conscious. You have to give what it takes for the moment. We are all going to go through this time and we will all come out of it by the grace of God. So I hope I've made some points and I hope this helps. Um, this will help somebody. This will save somebody. Hashtag, let's flatten the curve. Hashtag, let's be safe. Hashtag stay at home. Hashtag don't spread the virus.
may god bless each and every one of you